How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Super excited for today's video. It's me and the wife today. We left the kids at home. I don't even remember the last time me and my wife came out on the boat by ourselves. Much needed guys. Maybe like a year and a half ago or something like that. You know, we got two little ones. So we left them at home with the mother-in-law. We're setting up the boat already. Loaded up. Already lowered into the water. And not gonna waste too much time because we gotta get a good spot out there. The day's beautiful. The day is absolutely beautiful. No wind, no clouds. Very hot. Very Miami hot already. weather. You already know. <laughs> That's why you guys are watching Miami Living 305. So here we go. All right, guys, just as predicted, look at this. Super flat out here, super clear also. You can see the bottom, maybe five, six mile an hour winds. A bunch of boats out in the water already. I think I see Orlando up ahead. And we're ready to head all the way south to Isla Morada. So here we go. We made it here to the Isla Morada sandbar. As you guys see, it's maybe 10, 15, 10, 20 in the morning. You guys know I like to come early and there's already easily about 30, 40 boats there. I can count. So we're gonna find a quick place to anchor. I usually try to anchor next to the Pincho barge, but this time I'm gonna see if I can get him parked next to me. So let's see. Let's pull in there and find a nice spot and get our day started. I ended up going with this spot right here between the jet ski and the white boat. So always when you get to the sandbar, I always like to set my anchor, not out in the middle of the channel, but away from the sandbar to give myself enough slack. And so the anchor holds on. I use my joysticks to put the back of the boat in position to where I wanted it to go away from the white boat, making sure I wasn't running into him nice and smooth. And once I was close enough, I went ahead and shut the engines off, jumped in and did the rest manually. Careful, babe. Orlando, lift the engines. Ballet <laughs> perk service, bro. <laughs> the perks of uh, uh, being Miami living three or five front, I see. <laughs> <laughs> 
Anda acá arriba. Rico, el agua está hirviendo. Ajá, es un clase de agua más caliente. Alrighty guys, we're here, anchored up. At the Isla Morada Sandbar, nice and effortlessly, there wasn't a lot of people, so we were able to get a nice spot right here, as you guys see, real close to the flag where everybody tries to take a picture with it. And we got the Pincho Bars, as he's on his way already, he just called me, get a pull in here. And we're gonna get the party started, guys. This is just a calm before the storm right now. The water, I think it's been the hottest it's ever been all year. It feels like a damn jacuzzi super super warm it's gonna be a really really hot day about two days ago we broke the record out here for hottest day at 95 degrees but as you guys see little by little it's starting to build up we got our little tent over there to stay out of the sun on that side still hasn't gotten anywhere near what we're gonna see tonight but boats are out here coming at a steady steady pace Got a big yellow fin coming out here. Waiting for the pincho bars to get here. Hopefully he gets here soon. Hungry. guys it's not even 12 o'clock and we're kind of blocked in already not really on this side because these are subscriber mines i actually helped them anchor up there but these guys right here just completely anchored right in front of us i mean i don't even get mad it's part of it there's no you know these might even get blocked in you know as the day progresses so you never know out in the distance really clouds really nasty clouds out there but hopefully they stay offshore because on this side super nice Look at that water guys, clear, clear water today. Bringing my dog Manny, one of the stickers for the Pincho Bars. All right, so those people are getting ready. Hey, Miami leaving, Miami leaving. Hey, Miami leaving. Ariel, give her a one on her barge. Boom. Ahí está. Yeah. Yeah. We got two bears pulling up, two bears. Pincho barge. Not even 12 o'clock yet. I'm here with two bears outdoors, and he came out here looking for somebody that he hasn't been able to find out. Who are you looking for? Hector, bro, chasing reef. Where are you? <laughs> Dude, you need to come over here, man. We missed you, brother. All right, guys. So we're almost at noon. It's about 11 o'clock, and it's starting to build up. Getting pretty full. As you guys see, like this sea hump back here. <laughs> so what happens is these people, they want to get here already at 12, 1 o'clock and the capacity is pretty full. So then they're having a hard time anchor, anchoring up. So that's why I come here early, guys, because even though I'm pretty good at anchoring up, it's just there's no space left. So you see all those boats are starting to form a line out there. And that's what all the people that get here late start having to do.
All right, guys, so we're going to walk around. That's what I want, guys. One of those skaters, two four fifties. Everybody here want to be on YouTube? What's your boat? Where's your boat at? Hey, okay, we got hey, a, a gay free study. That's the one I got. So what I got. You guys having a good time out here today? Awesome. Thank you, guys. Yep. How it going? I'm really happy that the water today is super, super clear. Alright guys, we're here. You guys already know him, Waco from last year with a big party, all that, out here with his crew. A little bit, a little bit less tame this year, but tranquilito, yeah. eh? Yeah, este año no hubo barabarismo porque, you know, I had a better crew, I trained them on the off season. So now this <laughs> summer we came back stronger. The veterans, came yeah. like veterans. <laughs> Ok, estoy aquí con mi gente. Estamos aquí en Isla Morada. ¿Cómo la están pasando aquí hoy? Sabroso, sabroso. Hombre. Oye, ¿cuándo los juegos? ¿Cuándo los juegos para vivir? Ah, para que aflojo el tiempo, que esté tocado, nos vamos a ir todo el mundo para allá. Dale, vamos, vamos. Se me baja un poquito la nota. Ya hay un poco. Ya nos viajamos allá. Estamos todo el mundo aquí para salir del viaje. Paramos un viaje para Manco Island. Dale, oye, esa me gusta. De verdad que me gusta esa. Salimos de aquí todos juntos. Dale, lo espero de arriba. We're getting to all the way, the lowest level of the tide. As you guys see, all the grass starts getting exposed. I think we're touching bottom already in our boat, but we plan to stay here for long. So I'm sure the tide, as soon as it goes all the way down, how it is now, it's gonna start coming back up. But look how nice this is. Happy 4th of July, guys. So happy to be born in the greatest country in the world. I wasn't born here, but I feel like I was. She's been here longer than she was anywhere else, so. Yep. Just to give you guys a little update, we're at all the way low tide and the boat's sitting on the sandbar, but I ain't worried because I plan to stay here for a while and the tide is starting to come back up. But we're still out here, having a great time. Water is the hottest that I can remember. It feels like 90, 100 degrees out here. Not, not temperature-wise, but water-wise. GPS said 98, but man, it feels like 100. Man. But we're still out here having a great time. That cloud, thank God, it just passed over us. It's already, if you look at the wind, it's heading away from us. So we should be good to go. We're having such a great time. Hey! I'm here with my brother from uh, another mother, literally. <laughs> he just got his brand new Sea Ray with his 300 Mercury. And we've been trying to get him together to hang out, but he's got to work. Sometimes I got to work. But we are here together today. Hey guys, welcome. Come here to the, subscribe to the channel and come to Isla Morada, okay? Yes, sir. You guys want to have a good time? This is where it's at. Right here at Isla Morada, baby. Mira, mira, I'm here with, <laughs> I'm here with some subscribers. They said they saw my videos and thanks to the videos they were able to make their Bibini trip. So tell me guys, how was it? Amazing. amazing Thank amazing. you so much. Thank you for your help. Thank you for your videos. You are the bomb. If it wasn't for him, we, we wouldn't have gone. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. And now, and now the next time we got to do it together. We are. Yeah. That's right. Together. Oh. Cheers. <laughs> hey guys, I'm here with some subscribers that came up to the boat to say what's up. Say what's up. So way to go, Bobby. Appreciate it, guys. Nah. Boom, boom. We're still out here, guys. It's actually been a pretty tame 4th of July weekend. It's not that crazy today, but it's still a great day out here. The water was awesome. Now we got all this water coming back in because the tide's coming in, so it's not as clear anymore as when we first got here. But man, it's been a really awesome day out here. We're gonna stay a little bit longer. The boat, as you guys see, is floating again. It was out of the water. It took about a, you know, maybe an hour. Tide's starting to come up. I'm floating again, so we're good to go. Take off, take off your glasses and your hat and you can go on your water. It could take you 90 feet. Hey, look 
All right, guys, so a little bit of an update. It's about 420. A lot of people have left. We're still chilling here, having a good time, me and my brother. We're gonna start going ahead and picking up everything to start heading home. It's been a great day out here. Met a couple new people. I had seen my channels that I hadn't met before. I've seen some old subscribers, and I feel like I got a big family every time I come out here to Isla Morada. So we're gonna get on the road. And I'm gonna show you the process of how to pull out, because as you guys see, I got a boat right in front of me. And I'm gonna need to get out of the channel, so I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I do that. So here we go. When out at the sandbar, you should never touch anybody else's boat without their permission. So I kindly told the owner that I was coming out and he was kind of on top of my anchor. He just moved his boat to the side. At this point right here, my wife is just bringing us out by the anchor. I let my brother know to get out of the way because I'm turning on my engines. And just like that, we were out nice and smooth. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And as you guys saw, just like that, I had the guy that was right in front of me, he anchored up literally on top of my anchor. So when I just asked him, hey bro, can you just push your boat a little bit to the side so I can get by? Because when I pick up my anchor, I'm gonna run right into him if he's right on top of it. As Soon as he got out of the way, you guys saw that my wife pretty much pulled me out without me even having to use the engines. And of course, there's people that help and stuff, but I'm the best skipper. Yes. Is that what you call it? Exactly. I'm the best, best. Best mate. The best. I I um drive the boat while he flies the drone. Yep. That's how you guys were able to see that nice drone shot I'm when I started. So I we're got gonna, the anchor. I got the buoy. She got it all. <laughs> she got my heart. No. So yeah guys, uh, now we're gonna take off. You know, it's a quick 20 minute, 30 minute ride to Key Largo from Isla Mora. So I'll bring you guys with me, here we go. Should be a smooth ride. All right guys, we made it back to our channel, safe in peace. About a nice 20, 25 minute ride. Now we're gonna dock up and get this boat clean because we're going to be using it very soon and go get our babies yes we're going to go get the babies <laughs> but remember this is our first time in a year and a half that we come out alone it was we're nice go get the babies come back here because tomorrow is their day tomorrow is baby's day they want to go out nico was mad he was literally he said mommy i am mad you left me <laughs> so tomorrow hopefully we're going out in the cobia yes we're going to make it up to him by going out in the cobia i know a lot of you guys been asking me what happened to the cobia it's there guys it's there. it's there and tomorrow you guys are gonna get to see me on it and we're gonna go out in it since the whole family's coming out you know from just me and her we're not gonna take out the cobia that wastes almost double the, the fuel that this boat wastes and can't get you know as deep into the sandbar as we got you know if we would have been stuck how we were in this boat in the cobia we would probably still be there right now so we're gonna take out the cobia tomorrow for sure but we got to make sure we clean this boat because in a couple weeks, we're gonna go to Bibini for four very days. Very excited. So though. we're excited for that. Um, I've been thinking about Bibini for a while now, since the last time I went, and it's been too long. We're gonna make it happen, and I'm excited. So I'm gonna catch you guys up when we get home. All right, guys, so we cleaned up the boat. Everything's ready for our next trip, which the next video won't be with this boat. It'll be with the Cobia, but the next time you guys see me in this boat, we'll be going to Bibini. So boat's ready to go for Bibini, nice and clean. So it has full gas from the fill up I did last week, I only wasted about 20 gallons. I have 220 gallons capacity. So 200 gallons is more than enough to go to Bibini and explore everything I want to do over there. But this is the time where I say goodbye to you guys. Thank you for joining me on this beautiful, you know, 4th of July weekend. Every year I do this video. It's always keeps on notching, notching, notching to the top. And I'm glad you guys are on this journey with me. But this is where I say, make sure you hit the like, subscribe and notification button. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.